Now that the UAD deadline has arrived, there's a general confusion regarding how XML and UAD are supposed to fit into this new requirement by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The goal of this quick video is to break down the differences between XML and UAD and to draw a clear distinction of how the two will work together as well as how they work independently of each other. However, before we discuss the details of how these two are going to work together, let's clear up a couple of common misconceptions. The first one is, is that appraisers are required to send the XML file with their finished appraisals since the September 1st deadline is already here. The reality is, is that they actually don't. The only thing that's required at this point is that appraisers are sending over PDFs that are UAD compliant and meet those requirements for all of the form filling fields. The second, one of the investors that we work with is telling us that after September 1st, we're required to deliver both the XML file and the PDF. Doesn't that mean I have to do it? Well, in that case, it depends. Some investors are requesting that the XML and the PDF files because they're testing the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's UCDP. That way they can meet the March deadline as well. My best suggestion is to contact your investors and to find out if it's a requirement because of their testing or if they're under the impression that they have to because of the UAD deadline. So now that we've cleared up a couple of the most common misconceptions, let's quickly go over what the difference is between UAD and XML. UAD is the Uniform Appraisal Data Set, and this is the set of standards that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have told appraisers that they have to follow when filling out their appraisal reports. This includes things like formatting of dates, currency, percentages, and abbreviations. The UAD also covers the new rating system for condition and quality of the home, as well as the new description requirements for fields like view and location. While the UAD does affect the lenders in a way, it was more of a method of standardizing what descriptions and data that appraisers used in order to help create a neutral field for Fannie and Freddie, as well as the underwriters when they're reviewing appraisals. Fannie and Freddie basically had set uh, a deadline in place to ensure that all of the appraisers, as well as the appraisal technology companies like All A Mode, were ready to deliver UAD compliant appraisals with enough lead time to work out the natural issues that come with major changes that happen uh, in the industry. MISMO XML. Simply put, XML is a coded language that's intended to be read by computers. It's the raw data that feeds into a computer software program that turns that raw data into viewable material. Just like a web page needs the HTML coding behind it to tell it how to look and to function, instead of using outdated fail-prone converters to read that information off of a PDF, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac use the XML standard and are requiring that XML standard because they can now get that raw data instead of having to use a converter in order to be able to read through PDFs. So as you'll see by the timeline, UAD was part that had to come first. It was the kickoff of all of the UMDP requirements and deadlines that will follow, but since UAD is one of the main components of the UMDP, it had to be the first in the deadline. So as of September 1st, all residential and condo home loans that are to be sold to Fannie and Freddie will require the UAD compliant format on their appraisals. The XML file is not required to be sent with the PDF. December 1st, all appraisals being sold to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are required to include the UAD compliant PDF as well as that XML file that we've been talking about. Lenders that have appraisers that can't deliver the XML file with the UAD compliant PDF, they're going to be looking at additional charges because Fannie is going to have to wind up converting that report from the PDF. So a lender's best bet is to ensure that their preferred appraisers can deliver both before that December 1st deadline. March 19th, 2012 is the day that Fannie and Freddie will start receiving all appraisals completed after December 1st, 2011 through their UCDP portal. This is when lenders only sending the PDF will be facing that service charge in order to convert the PDF to XML. So if you're unsure if your appraisers are ready, visit our website at mercuryvmp.com XML and download our interactive checklist that will give you targeted questions to ask your appraisers and ensure that they'll be ready to meet both the UAD and MX XML requirements. So hopefully this quick overview has answered some of the looming questions that lenders and appraisers have about how, when, and where the UAD and XML will work together. But if you have further questions about the UMDP regulations or if you have topics that you'd like to see us cover, visit us online 
or call the numbers that you see on the screen and tell us how we can further assist you. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you very soon.